Now the shoot's complete, uh, the next logical step is to export some images. I'm going to show you how easy that is to do on Capture One Mobile first, and then I can show you how easy it is to transfer the session over to desktop where I can continue with some further editing. As we were shooting, I did mark some images, so I'm going to pull them up now. I'm going to find the ones that I filtered with green. We see we've got five images here, get rid of that, and then I will select all, and I'm going to export them to Web Optimized JPEGs, and then I'm going to save them to a location on the hard drive. So when Capture One's done its export, it shows you where you want to save it. So I'm going to save it to files. I'm going to navigate to the output folder from the session on the hard drive and hit save. The session we've created was actually shot onto the SSD, which makes life a breeze bringing it over onto the desktop. Now, if you create a session on your iPad, it's really easy to find it as well. You go into your files app, then you go over here on your iPad, Capture One, documents, there it is. There's multiple ways you can bring the session off your iPad onto your desktop. The way I'm going to do this one is I'm going to select it here, hit that, and hit share, and then it's going to just airdrop it over. As I shot this session straight to the SSD, all I need to do is actually just connect it straight in, and then it's going to come up right here. So I'll find the file, open it up, and just continue working on the session. So as you can see, all my adjustments have been brought over, as well as my ratings. So I'll go up here, filter down, find all my green tagged images, filter and green tag, and I can continue to work on them in Capture One and then export them from here. It's really good practice to back up your work. So all you need to do is click and drag the whole session folder to your internal or external storage. Really is that easy.